Hi there, this is Kevin for Easy ESL Games. Today's game is called Fortunately Unfortunately. It's an awesome game for teaching the past tense, and it's a fun take on the classic children's book by the same name. Here are the details. There are no materials required, you can play with between 2 and 10 participants, and a game should take between 5 and 15 minutes depending on the size of your class and their ability. This game is best suited for higher level students high school, university, or adults. Here's how to play. Pre-teach the words fortunately and unfortunately. Divide your class into two teams, the optimists and the pessimists. Tell your team of optimists that it's their duty to always look on the bright side of things. They must begin every sentence with the word fortunately. The other team are the pessimists. They must always see the negative side of every situation. They have to start every sentence with the word, unfortunately. The teacher starts by making a random statement about something that happened earlier in the day. For example, I talked to a famous actor at lunch today. Then the optimists must expand on the story by adding an extra detail about talking to that famous person while using the past tense. Fortunately, they looked really cool. The pessimist must then follow up by adding a negative element to the story. Unfortunately, they smelled really bad. The process continues until one team cannot think of an appropriate response. Here's an example of fortunately unfortunately that my students used in class. I've edited out the mistakes. I saw Tom Cruise at lunch today. Fortunately, he looked really handsome. Unfortunately, he didn't speak to me. Fortunately, he smiled at me. Unfortunately, he kicked me in the leg. Fortunately, it didn't hurt. This ESL game has little to no structure. It's fun, crazy, and gets everyone talking and thinking while using the past tense. Have fun in class. If you've liked this game or any of our other videos and resources, please take a second to like, share, follow, or subscribe to Easy ESL Games. And if you have any questions about how you can apply this in your classroom, leave the question for us in the comments section. We'll get back to you right away. Thanks. That was easy.